Chilling Rain seems like a very cool set, both in its theme being an icy frozen tundra and the cards in it, but hopefully we can break that ice with some heat, with some heat pulls in today's video. Yo, what is going on guys, Alien is Pierre back in a video, and as I just said, as you can saw the talent family of this video, in today's video we're doing part two of our Pokemon Chilling Rain booster box. As I'm making this video, this is the latest Pokemon TCG set, and it's got a lot of hype around it, and I'd say rightfully so, a lot of big hitter cards, the Altar, Galarian Birds, the Shiny Gold Snow and more let's get right into it baby so yes guys this is the box we opened part one yesterday we've got an insane full art as well hopefully that luck does continue taking another six packs out so we do have our six here so gonna have to put the box down because if i don't put it down and i'm gonna be tempted just to crack open the rest so this set does have five pack artworks as i've said in all the parts and we'll probably continue to do so unlike the regular four and last time i left the galarian zapdos pack to last because it is my fake card from the set it's ultra but however this time we do have two uh, ice riders so i'm gonna leave an ice rider to last I'll put it over Pikachu, why not? But yeah, we're going to start with the Galarian uh, Zapdos V and hopefully we can end with a Galarian Zapdos V in its alternate art form. You know, that would be great. Is my fat card from this set without a doubt. It just reminds me of Roadrunner, you know, and I grew up watching the Looney Tunes, so I've got to love that card. But yeah, so we're going to do four to the front as we usually do. I'm going to go Fire Energy, hoping to start this pack opening with a bang. And it is Darkness. Hopefully we can, like, you know, light up that darkness with a Fire Pull. So we have a Haunter, a Clara, a Porygon, Ladybug, in the snow that is a running theme within the set as well as the Rockcroft and the Sneasel reverse holo echoing horn and to kick off a regular rare aggron oh man come on Galarian Moltres you have got one of the most popular alternates in the set and I'd say rightfully so you know I would say the um, meep meep boy himself Galarian Zapdos does beat it however if I pulled that um, alt art Galarian Moltres for you that moon in the background I would not be complaining gonna go dark energy since oh water I was just thinking Dark Energy because we were talking about Glenn Moltres. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about Zapdos and Moltres, and I'd say so. You know, they are great cards. But not a lot of people talking about Articuno. Don't understand why. That is a great card, and if I pulled its alt art, I'd also be happy. So we do have a Reverse Hollow Diggle here, and a regular Rare Wall Ray. Not to, um, to a good start, but I'm sure it will peak towards the end of the video. But I'd actually say, personally, now this is a bit controversial. <laughs> if we do look at the alt art birds, I'd say my favourite would got have to be Zapdos. Then I'd say it actually then goes Articuno. Kuno, which I see a lot of people saying is their least fair out of the three. And then the Moltres. I know I know Moltres is cool and all gonna go fire. Is metal could burn that um, metal with some fire. I know um, Moltres is cool and all, but I just love the way the Art Kuno looks. You know, it just reminds me of Frozone. Where's my super suit at? You know, and I love the Incredibles as a kid. Still haven't watched the Incredibles 2 though. Regular there after again and again. But yeah, I still haven't watched the Incredibles 2. May get around to do it, you know. Why that mm, I was thinking like, why if I, you know, open some packs while watching Incredible 2? Um, to try and bring out that Frozone um, Articuno, but then I remember I'd probably get copyrighted by Disney. So that's probably not a good idea, and we're not, when we are not, and I mean not going to do that. Going to go Psychic. Yep, saw that coming. Maybe I'm Psychic. Yeah, do not expect that on the channel. Video come next week. We are not um, doing that, I promise. That would be terrible. Love this Blitz artwork, by the way. I hope he doesn't fall in, you know, that would also be terrible. So you do have a Bound Suite, Reversal of Hatina here. Don't be another regular there. I've got my eyes closed. Is it? It's going to be a full art, I know it. No, it's not. That is literally probably the furthest thing away from a full art. A regular rare, a bomber snow. Come on, man. We've got two Ice Rider Calyrexes left, you know. And I know we're going to get some, some heat in both of these, even though it's icy. Come on, give us some of that heat. Please, please save this part. We did actually get a sick, and I do mean sick, full art from part one. So make sure to do to, to check that out, you know. Maybe that is the best card from the box. I really hope not. Going to go fire. It is fire. That's got to be signed. We are going to get a fire pull coming right up. And Flannery, a fire type gym leader right after Agatha. She's not related to fire at all. But this has got to be a sign. Come on, here comes the altar. That score bunny is he stopping the ball or is he pushing it? Here it comes the fire is about to pop out and a reverse hollow fire type Volcarona. Got my eyes closed and here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The alternate are glaring Zapdos. Three, two, one, shaman. Okay. Well, it's better than a regular X. It is a hollow at the end of that. And I will sleeve, actually, because it is a mythical Pokemon and it's a hollow. Bit disrespectful to you, Shaman. You are mythical and you deserve to be treated a bit better. You're not as good as Shaman EX, though. Who was around in Pokemon uh, when Shaman EX was out? I know I was, and that card was crazy playable. How much expensive was that card at its peak? I want to say I saw one sell for $300. Or is that with the booster box? I forget. It was a fair bit in that go. 
With, the, with those the roaring size booster boxes of the card itself selling for 300 but now that I think about it it's probably more likely the booster box going for 300 because you know the packs inside gonna go fire to end it off it is grass we could burn that with some heat come on shaman you are a great card in roaring skies evolving skies is coming out soon don't say you're saving all the luck for that set however that set does look pretty good so if I got some heat pulls with that I wouldn't be complaining reverse of Bennett here come on and it is the regular rare Surviper. That's all right. We got shame in that to save the party. You know, one thing I do think is cool about the Surviper. If we do ever pull the regular rare Zangus, we'll pull out. Um, you can actually um put the um two cards next to each other and it makes a picture. So we can see in the top right here, um, Surviper's red beam is clashing with a blue one. Um, the the thing sending that blue one is actually Zangus. So if you ever do pull that regular rare Zangus on the channel, which I'm sure we will, because as you can see from my luck in this video, you know, we are um very um we are I'm a Magnet to the um, regular rares at the end of the day. But yeah, if I do ever pull that regular rares, Angus, I will pull out. But speaking of something which isn't a regular rare, and yesterday's part, that was kind of a crazy part, I'm not going to lie. One of the most playable cards in the cell, just focus it's my Espeons and Shot. Fair card in the collection right there, PSA 10 Espeon. But we did get one of the most playable cards in the set in yesterday's video, as well as a sick, and I do mean sick, full art. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But the recap for today's video is a bit short. I'll show it off again, you know. I've got to glorify this card as best as I can, because it's all we've got today. But today's best best card if you want to call it our best or was that hollow shaman Ah, uh, guys, it really does hurt that alt our Galarian Zapdos leave the alt out road runner. He's just running away from me on that road. Coyote's probably chasing him. He's probably lob a Pokeball at Coyote so it stops chasing him. That way, road runner stays still so that way I can catch him. But I am sure, you know, I'll catch Coyote off camera. And in tomorrow's video, if you guys come back tomorrow, I am confident we are going to pull that alt our Galarian Zapdos. Mark my words. We did actually get a fire. I shouldn't say fire because it wasn't a fire type. We got a sick pull in yesterday's video. It was a good, great full art as well as one of the most playable cards in the set and another um, it was another hollow as well so it was a pretty good um, part yesterday a lot of green codes unlike today's where you know hollow shaming am I right but yeah that you make sure to check out yesterday's part if you haven't already I'm nearly in these people comment question of the day let's go for um, do you guys like shaming personally I think it's okay this, um, this video has definitely changed my opinion now but on a real note let's go for out of all the cards from Chilling Rain what do you want to pull if you are opening and why you know I'd love to pull that Altar Galarian Roadrunner Zapdos as I've said several times and I'll probably keep repeating it over the next uh, five parts or four I guess I can't really do maths but um, yeah I'd love to pull that card as well as the gold shiny Snorlax. I believe that is the most expensive card in the set, you know, as I'm making this video. I will do a top 10 most expensive cards in Chilling Rain. However, just a word of warning, all the price of Chilling Rain will be high right now. We see this all the time with sets. When a new set releases, the price is always high because there's always that hype all on it day one. But as, you know, more reprints happen and just more days go past and more sets come out, normally that price will go down. I'm sure that will be the case of Chilling Rain. So if you want to buy these cards, such as the shiny gold Snorlax, but right now it's a bit out of your budget and if it is I don't blame you I think it's like $175 right now if it is I would wait to be you know all the singles for chilling when I'm buying I'm gonna wait a bit um, just that I'm probably going to buy it just for um, Evolving Sky. That's just my opinion. That's not financial advice. I'm not saying that's the lowest point ever. Uh, no one can predict that, you know. But yeah, that is just my uh, tips here. Yeah, that's when I'm buying for this set anyway. All the singles, but I'm going to be opening product until then anyway. But yeah, I'm Nelly P. You guys have been the best. I'm the best videos on YouTube. I need to get some water. My throat's gone really dry. And I'll see you in the next time. Peace.